What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie. And today, I have yet another PR haul for y'all. I thought you enjoyed the last one, so I thought I would gather some more of these things and show it to you in video. This one not only has beauty, we got an accessory, we got shoes, we got a food item, and we have a very, very high-end piece that might be the singular most expensive thing that I've ever been given uh, in a PR package. Before we begin, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. Let's get into it. I'm just gonna start off with the accessory and the shoes because they're staring at me right here, and then we can get into some beauty things. These are some sunglasses. They are a Sanrio crap eyewear collaboration. They are so precious. There's baby pink with like glitter all throughout. This is what I call the Flamsis Ellen V. Laura. This is the pose. This is the pose. This is the pose. These are the exact same glasses that I gave to Segundo if you saw like the red ones that he was wearing for a long time or for a minute. They're the exact same style. So if you really like that cat eye crap eyewear look, I believe these are still for sale. Of course, everything will be linked down below. I love them, they're so cute. Now the shoes I've had for a couple months is completely my bad because I was saving it to show y'all and then I realized I just like hadn't taken them out of the box. These are these Pumas right here. They are these super cute purple Pumas. And I realized like I waited so long that these were meant to be for summer. But you know what, it's LA so it's still summertime over here. They're like, Puma Creepers, and I've always been a huge fan of platforms and creepers, so I definitely need to break these out and actually wear them. It's the kind of thing like, you know, when I wear like all black outfits, I have like my red Adidas I like to wear, and this is like similar kind of thing, or if you're wearing like all very monotone kind of outfit, you can add these and really add a pop of color. So I will be incorporating these into my wardrobe now that I've taken them out of the box. I have a few things from Hourglass here. Ooh, look at this. Hourglass packaging is my favorite. It's always these like really subtle metal tones. They always use like browns and those kind of like sexy colors. Yeah, they kill it when it comes to packaging. So let's look at this box right here first. I gotta be careful opening this up, but this is the Confession Ultra Slim High Intensity Refillable Lipstick. We have every single shade here. And these two things on the side right here are the refillable lipsticks. Like you could use these individually if you wanna just throw that into your bag. But these are, they are so heavy. They're just like really well made. And what you do is you grab one of these lipsticks over here. I'm gonna pick my icon is. So we're gonna open that up, take off the bottom and the top. And you stick that just onto there like that. And it fits perfectly. And now you just have this real deadly looking lipstick situation. I really like this concept because if you really like the formula of this lipstick, you can buy multiples of these little refillable things that can be used individually as well, but then you can also place them in this really like luxurious feeling to be thing. This formula is pigmented and really beautiful. It just glides on really nice. I don't think it's a matte finish, I think it does have a moisturizing finish to it, but yeah, just a couple slabs of this and you get that kind of color. 30 shades here. I'm really excited about the reds as well as like the really dark plummy reds and there's some really nice browns in here. And I also got this from Hourglass recently, which I think is potentially a set that you can buy. It looks like a little like European cigarette case. So it opens up like that. So here's the refillable little lipstick thing. And then we have two of the lipstick refills as well in this little package. From Hourglass, I also got these two palettes right here. So let's start off with the silver one. This is the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. We got some highlighters over here. Wow, so from left to right, we have this kind of really pretty pinky one, a more golden one, and then a bronzy one. It seems like they all have uh, kind of like a silvery undertone, I wanna say. Maybe the, the most golden brown one doesn't, but the other two have some sort of like silvery undertone. Let's dive into the other palette now. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. This all seems like it's very illuminating. I've been really into really illuminating 
bronzers and blushes. Like why leave it to just highlighting, right? So I'm stoked to try this out. I feel like I'm gonna say that so much in this video, so I apologize in advance, but I'm excited to try new products all the time, okay? I'm really happy that I got this in the mail. This is the MAC Gently Off Wipes plus Micellar Water. I have never used any of MAC's uh, makeup removing wipes. Wow, this is like, this is a hefty packet of wipes. There are a hundred sheets in here. Oh my gosh, wow. And there's even like a little plastic dispenser. Very light, fresh kind of scent to it, which I really like, because sometimes if makeup wipes have too much of a fragrance and like it's just too heavy, I don't like putting that on my face. So I will definitely be trying out these. And it does have that like micellar water feeling to it. I don't know how to describe that, but you can tell that it's one of those kind of sheets and it's, it did its job. So yeah, I will be continuing to use these MAC sheets. Let's just keep the super high-end ball rolling right now. Um, I have some things from YSL Beauty. Ooh. First of all, I got this package and it came like this and this was on top of it. And I was like, oh, Saint Laurent, this does not look like a YSL Beauty package. And then I opened it and I was like, what is in here? It's a, it's a YSL wallet. Isn't this crazy? I have never owned an expensive wallet. My current wallet is like a coin purse that I got at an event for free <laughs> that I've used for the past two years and it's so beat up and it's like falling apart. It's so nice that I just don't want to use it. It's this beautiful red wallet. Uh, it's one pocket right here with space for some cards and then there's a little card space back here. I've never owned anything from YSL. I purchased my first designer bag like only a few months ago. My sister helped me out. I think that was, yeah, that was for Christmas. So this is my second like designer thing ever. Um, so we're just gonna put it back in the packaging and put it back in this little box right here till I decide when to uh, bring it out. But thank you very much YSL Beauty for sending this over. Like, I don't know. Well, I did to deserve it, but I really love it and I'm just gonna just keep admiring it and not try to mess it up. But let's go into this right here, which is the YSL All Hours Foundation. They gave me a few of the shades. This foundation is supposed to be 24 hour wear, flawless matte, full coverage, which all those things are right up my alley. It is heavy, it feels luxurious. I really, I'm torn between, um, you know, beauty and function sometimes because obviously these are not the best to travel with, but they are very beautiful to hold and look at. So we have these shades and they also provided, oh my God, I didn't even notice this. My name is engraved in this brush. I, I'm a speechless right now. I will never ever <laughs> lose this brush ever because it has my name on it. This is just a regular foundation brush to apply and they also provided this beauty blender. So they're obviously saying that there are multiple ways that you can apply. I typically always use a beauty blender for my foundations or some sort of like damp sponge because I really like to thin things out. Um, and with these kind of brushes, I do use them though, but not for like the function that they're meant to be for. I like to use them to wipe away the bake or pack on a little bit of highlight. So I will still be using this brush no matter what. What are these little things right here? Oh, these are concealers. <laughs> so these are all our concealers. We have two colors right here. These are supposed to be high coverage, blendable concealers, no cracks or creasing, never kicky or masky. All night hydration. So I'm guessing these should be good for under the eyes around the nose, around the mouth. That's where I get a lot of redness here, but then it can start to crack. So yeah, I will be using all of these together. I did this so out of order, y'all. They also give me a primer right here. This is the All Hours Primer Shine Proof Canvas for Makeup Mattifies Complexion Smooth Skin. This reminds me of that packaging for that Chanel like water foundation that you have to shake up, like the same kind of shape liquidy and it's very smooth. It's like a watery lotion kind of feeling to it. But it's drying down and feeling really, really smooth on the skin. If any of y'all have tried any of these products, I'm mentioning it all in this video, 
let me know down below. I am excited to try these out. Or if you want me to specifically try this out on camera, let me know. I will definitely do that. I'm gonna do another larger package here. This is from Bare Minerals. They sent me a mailbox. Uh, Statement Lip by Bare Minerals. I have not opened this up yet because I was saving it to open it up on camera. Oh, they look like little packages. That is freaking cute. All right, there are three of these boxes in here. So each of these little letter looking things have I think different kinds of lip colors. So this one is Statement Matte Liquid Lip Color. 10 shades, full coverage, long wearing formula, cream to matte finish. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one from the middle. This one is called Fire. I'm liking the texture, it's soft, kind of fluffy. It reminds me of the NYX liquid lipsticks that are really awesome and that I like to use all the time. Let's see how that looks when it dries down a little bit and move on to the next one. This one is the Statement Lux Shine Lipstick. So 10 shades, bold saturated color, high impact shine. This one is called Elite. Definitely has like a bit of a metallic sheen to it. And obviously that one is supposed to be a shiny lipstick and it's not gonna dry down, so it's supposed to stay that way. Oh, I didn't realize the last package is actually lip liner. So this is the Statement Under Over Lip Liner, five shades, creamy blendable formula. This one is called Wired. I like how that draws on. You know what? Because sometimes lip liners, even the very first time you use them, you need to warm it up a little bit and then apply or if it, I don't know, maybe I guess sometimes this could happen to lip liners if it dries out over time, but this was immediately really nice. It's not too creamy where I could tell it wouldn't line my lips nice. It has like the firmness that I like out of a lip liner as well. I'm gonna step away from beauty for one second uh, so I can show you the luggage that I got at a CalPAC event I recently attended. If you didn't know already, I absolutely love CalPAC. I always rave about it. It's the only luggage that I've used in my recent memory that I've ever really liked. I feel like the prices are completely reasonable. The wheels are so smooth and so good to use. I have the set that matches this right here. This is a hat box that they have created and I have the matching like three hard case uh, luggage set that matches the marble here and I have used it for uh, so long now and I've gone on it on so many trips and it hasn't broken, like it hasn't failed me. So yeah, I went to an event recently and they gave this as the gift for the event. And then I think, actually there's stuff inside. There's a smaller hat box in here. Oh, this one has my name on it too. That's so cute. So yeah, there's a smaller hat box in here that, you know, I feel like even if you had like one hat that you wanted to bring on a trip with you and it's smaller, you could put it in here and then put other stuff in it with you like as your carry-on and it does come with straps and there's some other stuff in here as well <laughs> inside here we have a slip pure silk sleep mask Ooh, this is like the fanciest sleep mask i have ever seen in my life i do use these on trips and at home i've always heard that you should be using like you know silk or satin when you sleep around for your pillow or for sleep masks because it helps prevent wrinkles and stuff. So now I have one of these to try out. And then we also have this Evolution pillow. I love these pillows for traveling. It's just a super cushy, comfortable uh, pillow. It's much better than any other pillow I've ever used ever. And then they also gave Oh, the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist. It's always nice to bring one of these on a plane. The air is so freaking dry. And even for me, like that will actually make me break out. So I like to keep really hydrated and bring something like this on a plane. So thank you, CalPAC, so thoughtful. I got my first ever package from Orbe and this is a, this is a fancy company as well. This is what the items came in, like two velvet bags. And then this one right here. So let's dive into this one first of all. I have only used one Orbe uh, item ever, which is the dry shampoo, which smells heavenly. Jen swears by that stuff, she loves it. 
Um, okay, so inside this bag we have this very fancy looking jar. This is the Gold Lust Pre-Shampoo Intensive Treatment. This is supposed to really add hydration to the ends of your hair. You're supposed to put it in for 10 to 20 minutes on dry hair and then wash it out with your shampoo and conditioner and do it weekly. I'm really quite surprised at how it's like a thick balm. I was expecting some sort of cream. So I feel like it's something like coconut oil, how you know it can solidify and then you add a little bit of body heat to it and it'll melt down quickly. So I'm not really gonna mess with it, but yeah, feels that way. Mm. Oh my God. I think, do all Orbe items have the same scent? Um, Cause it just smells incredible. And then in these two packets here, let's open this one first. Wow, again, packaging. I don't know how you would even describe that like pearlescent milky blue as the packaging of these lipsticks right here. Ruby Red, Tropic Flame, and Rosewood. These are all colors that I personally really, really jam with. And the formula was very, very milky and smooth. And it's just the kind of thing that Ugh, I'm such a sucker for packaging, man. All right, and then the second little <laughs> packet we have in here has three beautiful bottles of nail polish. Again, all these colors are ones that I can definitely vibe with. I do not use regular nail polish on my nails, but I do on my toes. So I think I might go for the blue or that really beautiful deep red. So the red is called Bloodstone, ooh. The blue is called Deep Teal, and the purple is Night Orchid. All colors I would put on my toes, so. Mm -mm. I am wearing this shirt, which says I'd rather be masking, because I got this from Origins. They sent this shirt along with two of their products, actually three of them. Uh, they sent their charcoal mask, which I left at my friend's house. So sorry, I do not have that to show you, but I used it and I really liked it. Um, but the other two masks I have here are the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. This mask is supposed to deep clean, pores appear to vanish, radiance is restored. I am interested, I'm gonna use this very soon, maybe even tonight because I feel like I'm having some textural issues around my face. So yeah, I've never used this one before, uh, but I've always liked Origin Mask. So this is another one I've never used before. This is the Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Face Mask. And this one is supposed to rapidly reduce visible redness, blotchiness, and reactivity. Another mask that I have never used. So I will definitely be trying both of these out because I do love a good face mask. I have a couple things from Bumble and Bumble that I'm extremely excited to try out. So we have these two bottles right here. This is the Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder Nourishing Dry Shampoo. And this is just the regular dry shampoo. They're supposed to be UV protection, two in one style extender to cleanse roots and nourish ends. Kind of a similar situation for both of them, but this is supposed to be more nourishing, hydrating. I already use, here I have it right here, the Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. This is the dry shampoo that I religiously use. It is an actual powder situation. What I'll do is I'll either apply it directly or apply it into my hand and uh, work it into my hair. I have really, really oily roots. Like after one day, I'm like completely oil slick. So this is pretty much the only dry shampoo that I've ever found to really work well for me and when I saw that they came out with like a spray situation. Typically these don't work that well in terms of absorbing oil, but I do like to use these kind of ones for touching up. So if they really do work the same as just the pure powder, I will let you know. But yeah, I'm excited that they're expanding this Preta powder uh, collection because I've been using this one for a good, I don't know, like three, four years and it's really never failed me. So yeah, I actually have two more Bumble and Bumble products to show you. I think this is also a new collection right here. So this is the Bumble and Bumble Save the Day Daytime Protective Repair Fluid. So this is supposed to be, again, heat and UV protection, which I am 
always into it. I love using heat protectors and stuff on my hair because I'm just trying to keep it as healthy as possible. So this one, you are supposed to work evenly through damp hair and air dry or blow dry. Ooh, I like that. Okay, the second product is an overnight damage repair mask. So while the Orbe one is supposed to be for 10 to 20 minutes, this one is supposed to be overnight. And I, the only overnight mask I've ever used is the, uh, what's it called? The Living Proof one. Living Proof has an overnight mask that I've used quite a bit, but I stopped using it for some reason. So maybe I'll try this one out. This one, you just apply on dry hair once or twice a week. Oh yeah, same instructions as the Living Proof one. This packaging is just, Yeah. Oh. Okay, well that was sealed really well. <laughs> um, so this one is more of like a cream. I'm curious to see how this absorbs into the hair because the Living Proof one, I, I was always kind of wary of overnight kind of situations because I thought it would like stain my pillow. But once you apply the Living Proof one into your hair and you put your hair up like into a bun, it really dries down. You know that there's stuff in your hair, but it doesn't um, transfer at all. So I'm hoping it'll be the same situation for this one as well. Maybe we'll do a little comparison. I know this one's like supposed to be just for a short amount of time and this one's overnight, but we'll see how each of them work. We've arrived at our final item, which is this right here. And this is, this bar saves lives. We believe small actions add up to a huge impact. With every bite, you're helping to feed a child in need. So go ahead, grab another. Your soul and stomach will thank you. For every bar sold, they give food to a child in need, which is a really awesome concept. If you want to get more information on them, I will, of course, link it down below with everything else I've spoken about in this video. Let's break into this. Let's do the dark chocolate, peanut butter, and sea salt right here. I was not expecting this to be so delicious. Mmm. All right, so it's really delicious and it's for a good cause. So if you're a bar kind of person, you should definitely look into these. All right, I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me in this video. Obviously, I am so thankful that I am able to receive all these items and share them with you. A lot of times what I do with the items that I don't necessarily like, think are my shade or uh, are items that I would particularly use, I just compile them and I give them to friends or family or I donate them and some of them I save for giveaways. So these things do not go to waste. Just wanna let y'all know that. If you wanna see more PR haul videos in the future, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood and also press that little bell button for those notifications so you see my videos. I tend to post twice a week, really trying to do that, you know? Y'all can go ahead and bug me if that doesn't happen, but yeah, I'm really trying to do that twice a week and also once a week on uh, Facebook on Thursdays. I'll link that down below in this video as well. I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.